Good morning, Maxim. Good morning, Mr. Joseph. <laughs> Thanks for talking to me today. Yeah, you're always welcome. You know, you have agreed very bravely to expose the ugly truth about the marriage agency industry, about what actually happens because you worked in one of the bad agencies. Yes, yes, uh, because uh, somebody should tell the truth and uh -huh. I think will be, the God will <laughs> tell me maybe thanks, yes, because I made this. Uh -huh. Somebody needs to tell the, of course, the of ugly course. truth of course. and set the industry free. To open mm. the eyes of a foreign man so yes. he understands that if, he, if he's going to reply to these beautiful women on websites in Ukraine, like models, if they look like a model, they're very popular. Mm. Many men write them. What does the industry do? They get translator, it's normal practice, they get translator to pretend uh, she or he is Sveta, Look, uh, they could, for example, take only photos and uh, uh, they could uh, make a little, uh, like a create uh, account of Sieta. Yes, when she has birthday, for example, mm -hmm. uh, where she's living uh, and, uh, and some photos of her, good mm -hmm. photos, yes. Mm -hmm. At the same time, the Sieta could be in different websites, for example, mm -hmm. yes, at the same mm -hmm. time online and at the same time answering on <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh, questions of uh, 10 foreigners, for example, uh, mm -hmm. during five minutes. Mm -hmm. That's impossible. <laughs> and, uh, impossible. And the truth uh, of this industry is that uh, often the translator that's replying, pretending to be Sveta, is a man. Yes. yes. That's Transla the truth. Translators are sitting uh, on the account of Sveta uh -huh. and answering the questions and... That's replying so, to the emails yes. and how many times it's, is there many men pretending to be woman uh, in replying on behalf of Sveta in hundreds, this business? Hundreds, hundreds of, hundreds maybe, of maybe more, yeah, really. Uh -huh. And why a man would do it? A man pretending he's being a woman, replying to a man? No, because he has no job and uh, he knows only foreign languages and mm -hmm. maybe he's sitting without diploma at home and uh, he need to take somewhere money, yes? Uh -huh, uh -huh. And because it's very good money to be a, a translator if you speak and yes, write if English. If you are a liar, uh, you could make uh, good money, of course. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And the psychology is also man knows how man thinks. Yes, but <laughs> so he can be a very effective uh, email or oh, letter course. writer. He's very careful and that's why he is, no. he's uh -huh. trying, maybe uh, sometimes, of course, he's make mistakes and people understand that something wrong with it, you know. Uh -huh. But during the time, his practice increase and mm -hmm. He can make mistakes because he not only pretend he's Sveta, he pretend he may be 10 or 20 other women. Yes. And he must write and pretend he many women so he can get yes, he became confused. <laughs> yes, and you uh -huh. began to think well, like Sveta. Uh -huh. <laughs> after, uh -huh. after some time, I think he, he's not a mm -hmm. man. Uh, Maxim, you worked in marriage agency uh, for about a year. Mm -hmm. um, so you know, you see how this business works. Yes, so you think this is a good business? or a bad business, the marriage agency industry? No, I think, uh, for example, if you want to make you know, money, yes, and you are a liar, uh, it, it could be good business, but God will, God see everything, you know? Mm -hmm. That's why, if mm -hmm. you, for example, trying to, uh, to help people to find the love, mm -hmm. that's you know, maybe not so good, uh, Business, yes, but uh, that's honest and uh, this is uh, humanity, you know. Mm -hmm. How do you mean? If you're trying to help people find love, it's a good thing, of course. Yes, of course. Uh, but how many agencies really care about helping men uh, find good woman for love? Uh, only ten, I think uh, only 20% from 100. Really? So 80% of marriage agencies you think are only care about money? Of course. So for a Western man looking to find love in Ukraine, a beautiful woman for love and marry her, 
he better be careful, make sure he find a good agency. Of course. Of That's the most yes. important thing, you think? Yes. yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Let's talk about the, the woman, Ukrainian woman, girl that comes into marriage agency. Uh, a lot of them, we were talking before, you think, coming in uh, because foreign man has dollars in his pocket, like you say. Mm -hmm. Ukrainian man has grivna in his pocket. Yes, and they will select, uh, of course, dollars, not uh -huh, uh -huh. So, of course, foreign man makes more money and uh, is a better provider. Mm -hmm. And so, what percent of Ukrainian women you think coming to marriage agency to find a man for money, not for love, and for maybe escape Ukraine? Because mm -hmm. it's difficult economic times here. I think approximately 60% of such, or of from 100%, yes. Uh -huh. 60% yes, coming only to take a lunch, to... <laughs> to spend good time because she has no money, she has no job, and uh -huh. she, but she's beautiful. Uh -huh. and, and gifts, of course. It's very common Western this men bring is... nice, expensive gifts. <laughs> yes, this is one of the integrated part uh -huh. <laughs> the gifts, of course. So you think 60% of Ukrainian girls coming to marriage agency come for money and gifts? I think yes. And 40% come for saw, love? Yes. And you saw it? Uh -huh. So there's a lot of, honestly, there's a lot of girls in Ukraine looking to get out of Ukraine for a better life. It's true? Oh, yes, yes. On the streets of Ukraine, you can find many beautiful Ukrainian girls happy to uh, go with foreigner, marry foreigner and leave country. Yes. So you really need a marriage agency that is about honesty and love and good matchmaking. Otherwise, it's shark infested waters. It's very... Good chance foreign man get with wrong girl for wrong intention, not serious intention. If he's not careful, it's true. Yes, of course it's true because mm -hmm. he should be careful. Mm -hmm. Because if uh, he have no practice, for example, in such agency, uh, you know, uh, could uh, could be such situation when uh, he will only spend money for mm -hmm. these girls. No, if it is for, maybe for somebody, it is interesting. Yes, to to give. Uh, meal for for every for every beautiful girl yes uh, if this uh, aim is his aim mm -hmm. he could make it why not mm -hmm. but i think people who are coming to such agencies they are uh, thinking about love mm -hmm. they are really uh, coming and telling honestly that they uh, want to marry and uh, a lot of uh, people are liars and uh, of course they will see this uh, Maxim, what do you think about a lot of foreign men coming to Ukraine uh, to marry their daughter? Like, he's 60 and he wants to marry a girl that's 30. What do you think about this? And what advice you would give Western men, speaking honestly and frankly about this subject? No, no, uh, at first, I think this business, <laughs> this is business. For example, a 25 years old girl is uh, working with... Uh, 60 years old guy, yes, because uh -huh. of course this is money. So it's not love? <laughs> not love, this is uh -huh. little taking from him money, that's all. <laughs> she reeled him in of because of her beauty, he uh, fell for her, the beauty and the beast. <laughs> she thinks that uh, her beauty uh, is money. You know, uh, her mm -hmm. beauty means uh, mm -hmm. to obtain money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, if a, if a Western man is 60 years old and he's coming to Ukraine and he's really looking to fall in love and to get married and have a long, happy marriage, yes. what do you think maximum age difference he should be looking for? You know, I think the normal uh, distance in, uh, in age yes, uh -huh. is uh, 15, no, uh, maximum, maximum, that's 20, uh, 20 years, but, uh -huh. but this is uh, in very... Not so often. I'll say. You have a friend, Maxim. Uh, I think you tell me about. He's 62. Yes, yes. Uh, and he's with a girl. How old? Tak, no, he had a lot of meetings because he passed through a lot of such dating, so, uh, such dating agencies. Uh -huh. and, uh, American man, yes? Yes, this uh -huh. American guy. Uh, as for me, this is friend and uh, I'm against uh, that somebody will lie to him, yes, and uh -huh. somebody will... Uh, take from his from him money because of this because he's a real good and interesting guy yes uh -huh. and uh, uh, he was young too and uh, he saw a lot uh, uh -huh. he has two uh, ex 
a wife, mm -hmm. yes, and mm -hmm. daughter, a good daughter, and he's mm -hmm. really interesting. But a lot of girls are only taking from him uh, meal, gifts, mm -hmm. and uh, sometimes money. And yeah. what age of girl he's seeing, he's dating? Oh, uh, he's 62. And he's 62, and this girl was uh, 30 year, uh -huh. years old, 25 years old, maybe 26 years old, and such. Because when this big age difference, how can there be you know, sexual chemistry between 25 and 62 year old? It's not the recipe, it's not formula for success, you think? Of course. It's, it's interesting for her, she gets gifts and uh, free meals, and maybe to talk to him might be interesting for a little bit, but can be successful love and marriage. Mm -hmm. Oh, successful? No, I think because no. If you, uh, if you has unlimited pocket <laughs> with money, of course mm. it could be successful. But mm -hmm. uh, no, as for me, I will be not glad uh, to spend my uh, my ages uh, when I will be, for example, uh, 60 years old uh, with a girl who is thinking only about money. Yes, mm -hmm. she is not listening to me, she is not understand me, she don't know my internal life and mm -hmm. that's not... Who wants that? It's a very shallow, shallow relationship, only on surface. It's of not course. about love, this, this kind of business. age difference. It's a business proposition. So as long as foreign man understands this, it's not love, it's, it's basically sex for money. Yes. That's what it is. Yes. yes, being straight. Yes. And if Western man wants this and he's okay with this, well, it's his choice. That's his choice. There's many uh, women in Ukraine he can have this with. Yes? Yes. Uh -huh. uh, Maxim, what advice would you give to foreign man, Western man, coming to the Ukraine, looking for love, looking for a good girl uh, to marry? What advice you would give him? You know, uh, if you find, for example, uh, this uh, agency in website, yes, you need to see the comments. Uh, at first, uh, uh -huh. maybe uh, you could contact with uh, these guys who uh, send these comments. Yes, uh, mm -hmm. what is their opinion? Because they already have a practice. Mm -hmm. uh, this regarding this talk to like previous men of course, clients. Of course, make uh, sure why. Uh, I think no reason to talk uh, at first with the agency, yes, uh, or to talk uh, with the guy, uh, no, but of course uh, with the guy who has already practiced, mm -hmm. because he saw something, uh, he was speaking already with them, and he, sa he knows something about mm -hmm. them. It's good advice, I think, yes. good tip. Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. Okay, any other tips you would uh, give? In the case of uh, bad result, uh, you need to, uh, maybe to go to police and to obtain your money back. Mm -hmm. uh, Maxim, let's talk about the scams that happen in marriage agency business because you see them firsthand. You know, like with flowers and limousine service yes. and gifts and all this. Let's talk about this flower scam. Uh, no, this, uh, this situation looks like uh, uh, at first the owner is coming to uh, the Sveta and asking what you want. Uh, of course, she, uh, flowers or money. She said, of, of course, money. Uh -huh. uh, they are coming to uh, the store with flowers. Making only a photo with flowers, yes, uh, mm -hmm. from this foreign guy they are taking, uh, of course, in three times more price. Uh, ah, the price of the flowers, they charge three times. Of course, maybe more, maybe mm -hmm. in five times, mm -hmm. because uh, mm -hmm. this guy don't know the price of, mm -hmm. uh, the real price of this roses. Maybe mm -hmm. they said that these flowers will be just from garden, you mm -hmm. know, will be the freshest in, yes. in yes. this, yes. in the in all country. Yes. And they're sending the photo to uh, to Robert with the flowers. Oh, he think, oh, and Sveta oh, very happy in photo. <laughs> my flowers already descended to, uh -huh. <laughs> to Sveta. And uh, uh, they are uh, given to Sveta uh, approx no, approximately maybe $10 from the 90 maybe dollars which this Robert sent. Mm -hmm. and $10 then, to Sveta? Yes. An agency uh, keeps the balance, the $80. The rest, dollars. rest, yes, of course. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Maxim, thank you very much for talking to You're me today. You're always welcome, and uh, no, that will be true. Uh, that will be good to tell the truth, mm -hmm. and be careful, foreign mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm.
Hey, it's Joe here. How are you doing? Listen, I wanted to talk to you openly and personally for a moment here. Maybe you're like I was, divorced two times and just really um, distraught and given up on ever finding your other half, a soulmate, your best friend, somebody that's amazing, smart, sexy, talented, educated woman that will rock your world in more ways than you can imagine. I've found that and I wish you to find that. I fervently believe the best women, the best wives are in the Ukraine here. I wish you all the best in your personal journey to find and marry the most incredible, amazing Ukrainian wife you could possibly imagine.